What a surprise. We're talking about Switch 2 again. I want to be honest, it actually wasn't my plan today, but Nate the Hate dropped his podcast today where he detailed what exactly he knows about the Nintendo Switch 2 delay, what's happening, and actual uh, rumors here that suggest Nintendo is planning to reveal this system this year. And there's a very particular thing Nintendo is supposedly doing, according to his sources. And so without further ado, why don't we just dive right into his podcast? And a few things he said here, we're not going to chop up his show and throw it in here. I'm just going to kind of go over it. It's an hour long show. I suggest you go watch if you're interested. We'll have it linked down below. Uh, but he said a few things. Uh, one of them's an opinion. Two of them are things directly from his sources. So the very first thing he said is he had a half dozen sources tell him about early 2025. Uh, he claims this was like a day or two before the stories actually broke. Look, I don't really know when he actually heard anything or if he's just misremembering because there were some public statements that he said, at least on Twitter, that made it sound like he was double checking with his sources after the news broke rather than before, but I don't know. I mean, this was like weeks ago, so it's pretty easy to just misconstrue things. And maybe I'm misconstruing things, but I don't think I am, but it, it is what it is. Uh, another thing that he pointed out, and this is just something he thinks will happen, and I've talked about this already. I've thrown this out into the ether, so uh, anyone who's been watching my channel long enough already knows I've said this, but he also thinks that Nintendo will acknowledge or has to acknowledge switch to or say something anything about switch to by the end of may uh for investor reasons and specifically we're pointing to may 7th which is the investors meeting now i've talked about this before like if there's any plan to release this system in the next fiscal year if there's a plan right now that this is dropping within the next fiscal year they have to address it with the investors when they're talking about next year's projected revenue so even if it's just a small little thing like just acknowledging that it exists or that there are plans for future hardware before the end of the fiscal year or dropping a code name or something nintendo would have to actually say something or at least should if the plan is this fiscal year if the plan is next fiscal year then nintendo can blissfully say nothing uh so i don't know it's it's just one of those things we don't know what nintendo's plans are with that now that's again just an opinion we don't know what nintendo's going to actually do but Nathan Hay did say this, Nintendo has reached out to their partners, and I'm sure he's just talking about his contacts, for assets from games for those studios, and the assets for Switch 2, for games are working out for Switch 2, and he said that these things are like trailers and such, so Nintendo has been actually putting in work to put together some sort of presentation. That to me is pretty exciting to talk about because that means Nintendo is planning to present something this year. You wouldn't be gathering trailers from third-party companies right now if you weren't planning to have a presentation related to the Nintendo Switch 2 at some point in 2024. Now, as we know, plans change. I'll keep saying it on repeat. We had a leaked document from the Giga Leak that showed Nintendo Switch was originally supposed to release in holiday 2016. We know when it actually ended up coming out. So it's one of those things that we already have direct evidence that Nintendo's internal plans do shift and do change. Not that logic and reasoning shouldn't have told you that everyone's plans internally shift and change. I got plans on my channel that shift and change all the time. So uh, yeah, that's just the reality. So I do think that it is safe to consider the idea, at least, that something is happening period. Now, we don't know what this something is going to be. We don't know when it's going to be. Obviously, there's rumors out there. I, what's funny is th there's a specific rumor from the original person who talked about the delay saying Nintendo might be revealing this thing in June or has initial plans to reveal the system in June. Nathan Hate said something on a show that I thought was interesting. He said there's rumors out there about it being revealed in May. And I'm going to be honest, as somebody who covers like all the Switch 2 rumors, I don't recall any rumor about it being revealed in May, just speculation that Nintendo will have to say something in May because of the investors meeting and it being a new fiscal year, but not because of any like actual other reasoning. So I, don't, I haven't heard any sort of actual rumor about it, just speculation. So I don't know what he's referencing there, but I don't know. I don't like read Fami boards and reset era and every little morsel like religiously. You guys might think I do because of all the rumors we post, but honestly, I don't actually religiously read these places. So I don't always know what the hell is going on. So uh, what I do try to keep up on though is the bigger stuff. 
And I know as much as we cover Switch 2, I think it's our fifth. No, five out of our last uh, six videos, including this one, are about Switch 2. I'm very happy to get into some other stuff that we're going to be talking about soon, uh, including tomorrow on the podcast, because on the podcast tomorrow, uh, we're going to be talking about Princess Peach Showtime. It drops this week, and I think it's appropriate to talk about. And I do think we have a couple guests coming on that also will be really wanting to talk about Princess Peach Showtime and other games, of course. So that's going to be fun. But today we're talking about this. And I just want to throw out there that I don't know what the hell is going on, man. I wish I did. Some people have said, hey, what's your retailer source said? Look, there's been no update there. What was said was what was said. Uh, there was never a guarantee of any release date uh, or any, you know, I shouldn't say release date, any reveal. That's not what that source was about. It had to do with pre-order stuff. And if plans change, well, naturally, it doesn't really matter if there was an initially a contact about pre-orders and now the plans have shifted so then obviously none of that's really relevant anymore unless you wanted to know if like was there an update that nintendo let them know nothing i don't know it doesn't really matter because no matter what i say it's just, i'm just gonna look bad right like i'm gonna look like i'm either reneging on something i said or i am uh you know changing the story and i don't want to change the story so i haven't even bothered to reach out for more comments uh, from my contact who gets me some stuff from GameStop because frankly at this point I'm sure there's just been silence from Nintendo on their end too and it is what it is this is what happens when plans change and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's an internal document that talked about March I just don't think it's ever going to get leaked out uh, March of 2024 that is so uh, we're just gonna sit back and wait and see what happens just here to bring you the latest on switch 2 and this is the latest that you know the biggest thing being nintendo supposedly reportedly according to hate the hate again a rumor uh has gathered trailers and stuff from third-party partners that would have to be for a presentation right so take that for what you will thank you so much for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next video